Ever joined a group and there's some crazy things in there and then one pops up and it's like, oh, you can have your hair do like a pineapple. Yeah, no, I haven't joined one either. Today we're gonna to talk about Facebook pages versus Facebook groups. Why are there two different things? Why do we need both? We well, don't need both, but I'm encouraging you to get into both because Facebook groups right now are booming. They are so popular and the organic reach for posts on a page are really dying quickly right now. Let's think about the two main differences before we jump in on the computer and have a look. Number one, Facebook pages act as though it is a website hosted by Facebook. When you think about it, you've got your, your times, your website, where you're located, address, etc. Let's say I wanted to Google a cafe and uh, I do that quite a bit. I wanna suss it out, you know, good coffee. Delicious. And so you Google them. You find their website, you find their Facebook page, you look up their details, you're like, cool, cool. All right, what's on the menu? Yep, sorted. That's sort of what a page should be like. That's including for churches as well. You wanna have your service times, your contact details, your photos so people know what they're gonna see when they rock up and that's not gonna be super nervous, like, oh, what is this place, it's crazy. Uh, are they friendly and everyone's smiling? You wanna have photos of the place so they can feel welcome when they come in. Groups, however, are community-based. That is where all the conversations should be taking place. There are a lot of people trying to make those conversations on pages and it did work and it does work occasionally, but it's slowly dying now. In fact, pages are rarely seeing engagement that they used to two, three years ago. It's just dropped dramatically. But Facebook has put a huge emphasis on community in groups. And so let's just uh, dive and swing on the computer over here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go. All right, so let's talk about pages versus groups. So the first one we're gonna look at is pages. Now, I am on my current media page. This is where I post all of my stuff relating to helping people out with media or just trying to get people to uh, get photos with me, etc. This is my business page. Think of pages as a website on Facebook. Now, as you can see here, I've got my services. This is what I sell, this is what I do. You've also got video about us, community. Community I haven't really done much with because I haven't created a group yet because I'm only starting out. So please follow along, subscribe, etc. <laughs> and so here you can see I've got about 150 people liking this page. And so the engagement is okay. It's not fantastic. Um, some of these are the, the recent ones have gotten a lot of engagement, but that's only because it's sort of event focused. So here you see 53. It's probably about 50%, under 40%. But think of Facebook pages as a website. This is where you want people to find your information, how they can contact you, how they can reach you, and how they can buy your product. You know, if I'm looking up at a cafe, I wanna to go to their Facebook page, I wanna see how good their coffee is. Now I'm gonna dive into a group. Now I've got two groups that I'm gonna show you. Main one is our UPCA Creatives group. But let's look at the, um, the statistics. So you can see 45 people have seen this post, 38, 40, 48. Uh, it goes on um, and you see 46. Now that's probably about 87%, 80% of our group. And you can see that there's high engagement here. But let's go into another group here that I'm involved in. And now here's a group that I'm heavily involved in. It's got 26,000 members. Now look at the engagement on these. Six hours ago, it's a question. Um, they wanted to know a bit more about what they're gonna do about their 2020 service. 76 comments. 19 hours ago, if your church has a class, new perspective members, what is it called? 235 answers, 12 answers. Look at the engagement on these, it's massive. And there's so many posts in this group of just random people asking questions. Now, why is this so popular right now? Well, it's because Facebook is emphasizing community. And so the best place to have conversations, the best place to have chats with people, whether it's your church or business, is in a group. If you can somehow get them to join your personal group and they are engaged by what they see, you can involve them in questions in various different things inside the group. This is gonna be the way to go. You can post so much in here and Facebook is gonna push this into their news feed. It is prioritizing groups now over pages. The reason is because pages are so commercialized now, they're saying, you know, people aren't interested anymore. They want to focus on people. 
And so how do you focus on people? Well, you create community groups. And so that is the best way to go about things right now. I love this one. I get so much information. I get so many cool questions. I've asked questions myself and I've always just dive in. You know, I want to find out what people are um, asking. Honestly, Facebook groups are the way to go now. And so Facebook versus pages, two different things. Pages are a website on Facebook is the best way to describe it. And number two, Facebook groups are building community. But create a group and start inviting people that you want into that group and start the conversations there because it's going to push onto their social media feed. And we want to create engagement. We want to connect with people. We don't want to have commercialized visit my page and like and subscribe, etc. People aren't interested in that. Everyone's doing that. People want to just have one-on-one -on -one conversations. People want to have the ability to have a voice and voice their concerns or questions. And a Facebook group is a safe and friendly way to do it. And so I encourage you jump in on Facebook groups, give it a go. And if you haven't created a page, make sure you set up a page because that's how people are gonna find you. So have a great day, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and hope you got something out of this. Very simple, very fast, jump on in. I encourage you to reach out to people. Have a fantastic day.